Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey guys, long time no talk. Then update anyway, and I'm on here just about every day. But um, I'm doing a 20 month update with you today on what's going on with all of this. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. So I'm gonna tell you about what I'm using in my hair, how long I've been using it, any kind of changes that have um, I've noticed occurring in my hair. I'm sure you can tell from looking up here. I'm doing this video in its most natural state. I haven't put anything in my hair this morning, so I want you to see how freeform really looks to the core. Okay, and we're going to talk about length, and we're going to talk about any changes in my hair, any more new locks. Stay tuned. Apologize for the congestion. I'm getting over a cold. I may have the odd dry cough spurt throughout this, but we're gonna ignore that and keep watching, right? Anyway, um, so I'm at 20 months. Free form, no manipulation whatsoever. Maybe 0.001%, I'm gonna tell you what that is. But there is no retwisting in my hair, and I want those of you that are considering free forming to know and see what you may ex um, encounter on your lock journey. I don't cover my hair at night. I don't do any kind of niceness to it really. I have no um, head scarf still. And I've noticed now as I'm sleeping, there is, um, what can I call it? Luggage and debris around me on my pillow, whether they're falling in my face. So they kind of get in the way sometimes, especially these ones at the front, which is why I think my hair, when I wake up in the morning, it's sometimes all over the place. It's not that I'm fighting in my sleep or anything like that, but um, these ones tend to come here or these ones in the back, they move. And um, yeah, so I'm kind of more aware of their presence now at this length, at this time, but I'm still not putting nothing on my head. I don't think I need it at this stage of my journey. Maybe this time next year, health and strength, um, I may need to cover my head, but at 20 months, it's not necessary. So what do my roots look like? Okay, so let's get into this. As you can see this, <laughs> Months ago, I did a video on the natural part that my hair makes on its own. It's still prevalent. It kind of is a zigzag. I don't know why. That's part of who I am. I'm not a straight line. You're probably not a straight line either. But that's the part my hair takes. It goes this way, then that way, then that way, then that way. So that's still there. And the locks have gone on the sides that they want. As you can see at the top, there's loose hairs that still aren't attached to locks they're kind of all over the place one thing i want to tell you about are um extensions on the on my webbing i don't i'm sure those of you that retwist your hair probably don't get this because your hair is being maintained but with freeform when your hair webs at the top sometimes you will get the odd strand that didn't catch in or it caught in too late and when you go to do something in your hair like just push lock out the way and your finger catches ow 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 it hurts so you have to be careful and I'm noticing now I have to go through my hair especially in this area it happens a lot I have to go through it gently and just pull at it to see if there's any um, webbing that's not properly webbed and I have to pull that one strand of hair out because it can hurt like a so what is her locks using in her hair? I discovered this product uh, before Christmas, I think in the fall of last year. It's called Restorative Hemp Oil. And it looks like this. I saved this bottle to show you that I'm using the product. It's empty now, oh, it's almost empty, but I have about three, three bottles upstairs. It's a white substance. And I spray this on my hair probably three to four times a week. Yeah, it's restore. It's all natural. It's leave-in treatment, and um, it's supposed to help your hair um, sustain itself and growth. Well, it's got hemp oil on it, so <laughs> figured if you've seen hemp grow, then hopefully you'll see some growth in your hair. 
anyway so it's plant based and I've noticed that the moisture content in it really agrees with my hair I spray it all over all over and then I just rub in in my roots and where I work wherever I see a sister with kids I tell her, listen forget that shea butter stuff especially and I show them my hair as it's locked because I don't know if they're aware that we use products in our hair and that maintain it and I said to her give this a try on your child's hair plus it's cheaper than shea butter and um and they say oh okay I says it's really helped with my growth how my hair is and how I maintain it um it's done really well and um I've seen the women again and they haven't complained to me so hopefully they used it on their kids hair and they see results I mean there's one more thing I used as well I don't know if it was because I had nothing better to do in my day at work but I was strolling through the aisles and I saw this product I tried it for about two months it's called grow long and um, it's a leave-in conditioner it nourishes and detangles and prevents breakage not that I have that problem with my hair in this state but I wanted to see if this product would have any impact on a free form a free form because I want you I want to bring to you guys products that benefit not just work but benefit to our journeys with growth with moisture whatever and this has moisture but um, for some reason the sprayer stopped working so I don't know if that's the universe's way of saying when you don't use this SH on your hair but I liked it and plus it's pink and you know me in pink oh. anyway so I don't use that anymore um, I'm I was saying I'm sticking to the restorative hemp oil it's simple they have a whole line they have bionic um, bio biotin is one and uh, another one but I want to bring those to you in other videos so stay tuned for that let's talk about length so how is my hair length have I seen growth is there growth is my hair growing as a free format and the answer to all those three questions was it three or four yes 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 the difference in my hair I definitely feel it in the shower when these guys are wet oh my gosh it's like <sighs> even at this length it's heavy and they're thick because of their their size I guess when water hits them they get even thicker and to maintain the wash I've noticed it takes more time because they will absorb the shampoo or the conditioner that you're doing whatever you're doing in your hair it's gonna absorb it so you have to take that extra time to go literally lock by lock and rinse them out when I'm I haven't tr tried styling my hair well actually I have I didn't I just had a it was just a wreck but once it's just said I have to try doing the styling when the hair is wet and then let it air dry and then try taking it out so I'm gonna try doing some of that in the summer but getting back to my length certain things in my hair have changed I've got new baby locks growing on their own there, I don't know if you I showed you this last year but this is how it looks now this little one here it's very delicate I can't because like, it's so thin and small I have to be delicate how I when I put my hair up to shower that I don't I leave that one down because they're so thin and I have this other one over here which is also very thin and I've got three baby locks in my hair so this is my left side of my hair and what I wanted to show you when I said there's 0.09 percent of manipulation to my hair I was talking about this section right here it's not locked yet as you can see and this section here is not locked well it's not but this section of it is it's really weird but what I do I try to sometimes I twist it like this to hold it together because I don't want it I don't want the hair spurting all over the place and then causing injury and hurting me like the webbing does so that's what I do with those two and then I have these baby locks back here I think there's about three in my hair but now I want to show you they're probably hidden but I know I have two <laughs> that's how it looks growth in all I can see it I, oh, I can't see it because my eyes are to you your eyes are to me so you might see different to what I see but what I feel is growth I can feel it around my neck when I'm if I'm driving 
and I turn my neck, I can feel them moving. There's certain times when I'm sitting in a certain angle and they hitch up on my shoulder like an arch. They didn't do that before. They would kind of sit like this on the back of my neck. And um, that didn't see it's happening now. It didn't happen before, but it's happening now. And this section of my hair, like my hair was layered before I locked. And now as locked dread, I can see the difference, like the length here and the length here is kind of ugly looking to me, but that's just my, my hair. <laughs> that's just me, that's what I see, you might see otherwise, but I can actually see the layers in my hair. So do, am I going through like an ugly phase? Kind of, yeah, you know, because it looks different and you can see things that you couldn't possibly see before. I don't like this sticking out like that, you know how. It, they don't lock completely to the end but yeah I can see those more clearly now this one here isn't completely locked either I have they look like that and um, yeah sometimes it feels mm, no can't do the style that her hair does or whatever but I know I can do other styles and it's more in having patience throughout the journey and all that good stuff so that's what I'm working on and you're gonna have to do a lot of that at 20 months in it's still hard to do the whole patience thing but we're trying and we'll get through it together so I'm gonna leave it at that for now and I'm gonna come back with other videos and the back of my hair very soon. this lock here before we go has about six joints in it they're all joined together I'm curious to see how that's going to develop throughout my life journey. But um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you have to go to at Earlocks. I have, I'm there daily, almost daily. And you check out the stories because that's where the fun is. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.